Halo 404. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Welcome back to the channel. To my repeat viewers and subscribers. If you're new to the channel, I ask that you please subscribe. I want to talk about the, the two recent high profile um, middleweights who got caught cheating. Canelo Alvarez and Billy Joe Saunders. I personally feel like these guys, especially Canelo, I, I mean, the, the jury's kind of out on what, well, I say not the jury, but the, the punishments kind of still out there on um, Billy Joe Saunders, as in we know he's not going to get to defend his belt in Massachusetts against um, Demetrius Andre. He's supposedly going to get stripped. Andre will get to fight for vacant, his vacant title. And as for Canelo, Canelo got a suspension, which was the equivalent of approximately six months or so. Uh, he, he had to miss out on an opportunity for a, a big fight with Triple G, which ended up taking place in September instead of May. But that said, which uh, that actually that's about five months that he was suspended. But the flip side of that is, you know, I guess in, in a sense, if the May fight had to happen, he probably would have fought Triple G in September again anyway. So the very well could have been two trip, two more, totaling three, to another Triple G fights by now. So he, he missed out on a, a, a very significant payday, but was able to come right back, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, have that same fight that he missed get to contend for two world championships two WBA two sanctioning body straps. I think it was the um, WBA and the WBC that um, he was able to fight fight Triple G for you know I, I just feel like even when it comes to these sanctioning bodies they're, they're very inconsistent with um, what they're doing when these guys get caught. My case in point is, if, if the sanctioning body really felt as they present themselves to about boxers being clean, about the sport being clean, why would you have a guy who just tested positive for a banned substance coming off of suspension in his first fight back, challenge for your title. I just think that um that, that was a little too soon. I, I'm not even saying don't let him have the Canelo fight. I mean, the Triple G fight. I'm saying don't let him be eligible to win your title. We're inside of a year of failing a drug test for a banned substance and being suspended. In my opinion... That should have been a situation where only Triple G could keep the belts if he won. And if Canelo won, the belts became vacant. That, that's what I felt should have happened. With Billy Joe Saunders, he's been stripped. But we have no idea the length of his suspension, if he is going to be suspended in length of time. Right now, all we know is that he couldn't get licensed to fight in the state of Massachusetts. So, with that said, right now we don't know if he could go to the UK and fight next week. You know, he could very well fight. He's, he's been in training camp. He could very well have a, have a fight with someone on, on short notice in the UK. On someone's undercard or something. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. We, we've also seen this with... Um, Povetkin, you know, when Povetkin failed his drug test against, um, I think it was after the Wilder fight, then he was supposed to fight Mainster Burn, he failed another one, 
and then they allowed him to fight some other guy. I can't remember who he was. Um, for some reason, I want to say it was Christian Hammer, but I, I, I may be wrong. But he he went out there and just basically, without drug testing, went out there and demolished the guy. And I'm not saying that he wouldn't have done it clean, and I'm not saying he wasn't clean, but the drug test said he wasn't clean because he failed the drug test against Mr. Vernon. So, and that fight happened like immediately after that. I just feel like the, the, the penalty for some of these some of these infractions just isn't stiff enough, and I think it lends itself to seeing more fighters take the chance of trying to use some bad substance because the penalty isn't that great if you get caught using. I mean, I, I actually think it's, it's, it actually seems that it depends on who you are, what your profile is as a fighter, what what your punishment is for failing a, a drug test. You know, with, with Antonio Margarito, when he got caught with a, the plaster in his hands prior to the Shane Mosley fight, he got suspended for quite some time. I think his trainer may not have even been allowed to ever be a trainer again. You know, ever, to ever train a professional fighter again or, or something. I don't remember. I think his trainer got a what, harsher punishment than he did. But because he tried to, Margarito tried to plead ignorance. Like he don't he don't know what the trainer He just lets the trainer wrap his hands and he don't pay attention. But Margarito served a, a pretty uh, lengthy suspension by comparison to Canelo a performance Hansen drug by comparison to Pavetkin caught multiple times using performance enhancing drugs so it's one of those things where you have to ask yourself is the integrity of the sport as it pertains to PEDs what we're led to believe it is I mean, I understand what Margarito tried to do was was, was worse than performance had some drugs. But my point is, a cheater is a cheater when it comes to you're trying to gain an unfair competitive advantage in a, a sport that is as brutal as boxing. I feel like any, anything that's construed as cheating and proven as cheating should be met with some very severe consequences and penalties. You know, I, I want to say uh, even with Dillian White, when he failed his drug test um, for a banned substance, now this was prior to his fight with AJ. Um, he was still a prospect at the time. And, and I may be wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have it in front of me, which I, I, I wish I had to look it up before I um, started doing the video. But I think Dillian White was, was out of the sport for about a year. I think he was banned for about a year. Maybe not quite a year, but I would think so. But even if he was banned for six months, that's that's longer than Canelo suspend Canelo suspension for clenbuterol. I'm sorry. So I just feel like there needs to be some consistency. I know there's not some major governing body in, in the sport of boxing that kind of goes by the sanctioning bodies and the the, the different athletic commissions depending on the state or country or area you're fighting in. And so that kind of lends itself to why there's such a disparity and discrepancy between the different penalties for different people. But I feel like there needs to be some kind of consistency and uniformity to the um, so-called punishments for failing drug tests in the sport of boxing. At the end of the day, no one wants to see a guy severely hurt in a, in a boxing match. I mean, when I say severely hurt, I mean hurt to the point that his quality of life has changed for the worse from that point on. I mean, we, we've seen some, some guys lose their lives in the ring. We've seen some guys who basically um, became, you know, mentally incapacitated physically incapacitated because of 
beatings they sustain in the sport of boxing. So, you know, we, we definitely don't want to see that happen and then find out that the guy who who, who did so was, was on some performance and had some drugs. You know, I just want to see more consistency. I want to see the sport clean. I want, I want to see the sport as clean as it presents itself to want to be. I, I don't want it to be a smoke and mirrors type thing. I want it to be the way these guys know the penalties. They know the consequences. They know the risk far outweighs the reward of using the PED. So they stay away from that stuff, and they and they work hard. And if they, you know, if they're not where they want to be. They they make changes in their training regimen, not changes in their in what they're putting in their bodies to give them an unfair competitive advantage. Like I said, I'm all about seeing the sport clean, but I'm also all about seeing a, a, a fair level playing field when it comes to the sport of boxing. Boxing is a too dangerous sport already. We don't want to see guys guys getting hurt like that. I appreciate you watching the video. On that note. I'm going to get on out of here. Peace.